Hey, I'm Quentin from Notion Everything, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of our brand new Second Brain 2.0 template for Notion. It's an all-in-one system that turns Notion into your unlimited digital brain where you can capture and manage your tasks, your notes, goals, projects, and more to organize your entire life from one single place and start freeing your mind. This template utilizes all the power of Notion latest features, and it's based on the para productivity method by Thiago Forte to keep everything organized by areas of your life. Now, before diving into your second brain main dashboard, which uh, you can see here, let me first open the navigation page of this template as it shows you the structure of the system and how easy it is to navigate and customize. On the left side here are the different pages or dashboards of the template, such as the main dashboard we're going to dive into, your inbox page, your my day page for planning your day, your knowledge hub, and of course, a getting started guide. And on the right side, you'll see the actual databases that are used in your second brain system, which offers advanced filtering views for your data. And this would be your areas of life, your tasks, projects, notes, and much more, as you can see. So the system is super easy to navigate either from this page or from the Notion sidebar here. And it's also very easy to customize as if you want to create a new dashboard or a new database for specific needs, you can do so from here and add whatever you want. Now let's dive into the main dashboard of the template to show you how the system works. At the very top of the page, you can find four simple buttons to quickly capture tasks, notes, and basically anything you want to add to your second brain's inbox. The inbox that you can also access by clicking here is a page where you'll see all your latest added items in order for you to process them later. And when you're ready, you can simply change the status of any item and it will disappear from your inbox. Back to the dashboard, the next thing you'll see is a view of your areas of life. You can create as many as you want. And if you have any ongoing projects, goals, or tasks associated, they'll show up as active areas with very useful dynamic tags telling you what's currently happening for each of your areas. Obviously, if you click on any of your areas here, you'll access a dedicated area dashboard showing everything related to the specific area you clicked on. Next on the dashboard are your goals, automatically classified short-term, mid-term, long-term, depending on the deadline you've given them. You can add new goals from there and you can track your progress by updating the different values for each of your goals and even associate tasks with them. Then comes the projects section where you can see all your projects in a timeline view or a Kanban style board view. And again, if you open a project page, you'll see everything related to that specific project, including tasks, resources, and notes. Each project has a progress bar that will show you the percentage of tasks associated that are marked as done. Now moving on to the task section of the dashboard, you can easily view your to do's on a weekly or monthly calendar. And below that, you'll see a list of your tasks, whether they're upcoming or overdue tasks, or even in your inbox, which you can drag and drop into your calendar to schedule or reschedule them. Want to mark that one completed, just check the box and it's done. Very easy. Moving down here, you'll access all your saved resources, which can be websites, YouTube videos, books, podcasts, or any external information you saved. And if they include links, you'll see a nice little button here to easily open them with just one click. And finally comes the notes section where you can access all your personal notes and easily view your favorite ones. And speaking about personal notes and external resources that you've saved into your second brain, let me show you how you make the most out of them with the knowledge hub page. Basically, this is the place where you'll store and organize all your knowledge in order to easily retrieve any piece of information when you need it. You can create as many topics as you want, which can act a bit like folders here. And whenever you associate a note or a resource to a specific topic, again, you'll see dynamic tags here showing you what's inside the related topic. And if for some reasons you archive everything inside a topic, it will then move to the inactive tab to always keep a clean system. Obviously, you can also create dedicated views showing only certain types of resources such as books, videos, podcasts, documents, and web clips. If you want to open one, just click here. And if you want to archive anything, it's just always one click away. 
And finally, you can view your last added or modified resources and notes with their associated projects, topics, or areas. All right, now let me quickly show you a bunch of other powerful features of the Second Brain system, getting back to my navigation page here. And starting by showing you some extra templates we've added to the system, including a daily habit tracker, easy to customize, a daily journal, including a clean journaling template inside, a personal CRM with useful reminders for birthdays and follow-ups, and even an address book for saving your favorite places. You'll also have super useful pages like the My Day dashboard to easily plan your day and only view what's important for the current time without any distractions. There is also the Quick Capture page, which is particularly useful on your phone to capture and add anything to your second brain on the go, or even write quick notes and then transform them into actual note pages like that. So that's it for this quick tour of this Notion Second Brain 2.0 template. Hopefully this will give you a clear overview of the entire template, which obviously comes with a super clear text and video starting guide so you can start in minutes and never get lost. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.